Sure, Baba, sir, math question. Okay, let's go to the question. X negative 1, the whole square is equal to negative 4. How many distinct real solutions does the equation have? So we have to find the number of uh, distinct real solutions uh, uh, we have for the given equation. I think uh, the given equation can be solved easily. So because here we have x negative 1, the whole square is equal to negative 4. So to solve for x first, I have to get up this square. For that, I have to take square root on both sides. Okay, now let me take square root on both sides. When I take square root on both sides, the square root and the square will cancel out. And I'm just getting x negative 1 is equal to square root of negative 4. Okay, here on the right side, we have a negative value inside the square root. So whenever we have a negative value inside the square root, it's called imaginary. So we get an imaginary value on the right side. Even if I add 1 to both sides, let's see what's happening. I'm getting x equals to square root of negative 4 positive 1. So still we get imaginary value on the right side. When I take a real number, a 1, uh, which is added to this imaginary value, it will be considered as a complex number. So we don't get real value. When I try to solve the given equation, I'm not getting a, any real solution. I'm getting a complex solution uh, for this uh, equation. So the given equation has uh, no real solution. The correct answer choice for this question is option D.